I'm Brendan Penke from the University of Wisconsin Extension. I'm here today to talk about some invasive plants in Wisconsin. The subject of this video are the teasels. Common teasel is Dipsicus felonium, and cutleaf teasel is Dipsicus liciniatus. These are herbaceous monocarpic perennials. That means that they establish for a year or two as a basal rosette, and then they put up a flowering stalk, flower once, and die. As you can see, they can be quite tall, anywhere from two to six feet tall. They uh, start out as a rosette with um, a leaf that can be up to one and a half feet long. The rosettes of both plants look similar, although the leaves differentiate later on. The leaves are opposite. This is cut leaf teasel because it has these deep incisions into the leaf here and here. Um, common teasel does not have those incisions. Again, it has the very spiny midrib on the underside here. And those leaves meet around the stem and form these cups. Which you can sometimes see water in. Uh, common teasel starts flowering before cut leaf and there's some more differentiation in the flower there. The cut leaf teasel usually has a white flower while the common teasel has a purple flower. Um, although either species can have either f color flower on occasion. And then the bracts around the flower, these spines on the cut leaf, are shorter than the flower head, while in the common teasel they come up higher than this flower head, which is also, again, very distinctive. Many small flowers packed together, and this eventually becomes the seed head. Uh, this flower has, this plant has a very deep taproot, up to two feet deep at times, and uh, the stems, the flowering stems from the year before uh, remain after. Um, and you can see those during the winter and then the following season. There, aren't any, there isn't anything that looks like this, so you're not going to confuse it with anything. But again, if you remember, this is a monocarpic perennial. It starts out as a basal rosette with very long leaves, uh, eventually giving rise to this very tall flowering stalk. It has very spiny stems, um, opposite leaves that surround the stem with a spiny uh, underside or midrib, and these very distinct dense flower heads that are very spiny as well. And that, those are the teasels. Thank you.